Hey, cheers guys. How you doing today? My name is Colin Osborne, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to create a link tree without actually using Linktree. Uh, it's just gonna be a couple drag and drop builders. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do it step by step. It's gonna be real simple. So um, how about we hop into the computer and get started? All right, guys, how you doing? This is Colin Osborne again. And uh, make sure you guys go uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be producing a lot more of this content, just web development, um, you know, a very uh, resourceful uh, education on that. Because I believe that it's better to provide value on the creation the capability of building a website than it is to try to get someone to buy one. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Uh, and uh, that's really honestly why I enjoy that. So make sure you guys go check out the blog. And um, there's a lot of cool resources and stuff like that that you can use for that. Anyways, Linktree, what is that? Um, you know, it's a, it was a company that came out with this revelational, um, essentially landing page for your personal or business that provided you with, um, you know, the means to, um, you know, produce all of your links on one page, which is, uh, excuse me, which <clears throat> they were able to do seamlessly. And now, uh, we're able to also do that too seamlessly, um, you know, using you know different builders. And you know, this is like free once again. And you know, I'm not necessarily giving them any free marketing or anything because we're going to be able to do it ourselves. And and I believe that it's all about conden a, a condensed solution. You know, Linktree was great and everything like that, but it it makes it harder for analytics when you know you have uh, an, an outside you know, business managing your web presence when you can contain and, and harness all of your uh, links, all your websites, all your pages within one platform. And that's my opinion, most efficiency. But let's take a look at um, my company, Oslon's link tree currently right here. It's not beautiful, but hey, it, it tells you exactly what you need to know as the links um, <clears throat> that are necessary. It takes me to get a website page and solutions. Uh, if anyone's ever interested in my team building a website, feel free to reach out and you know, we'll be more than happy to uh, get, um, you know, help you guys out. And uh, not only that, um, but there's you know, case studies, blogs, et cetera, et cetera, and stuff like that that you can go to. And uh, the platform that uh, we use to uh, build our websites and also do SEO, CRM management, database management, um, automation workflow technology is this company called Go High Level. And they have, um, you know, it's essentially a platform for business owners where, um, or, you know, people who are trying to start their own marketing agency or platform, um, you have the ability to provide any type of solution. Um, that, in my opinion, is uh, farther than most tech, uh, you know, it's when it comes to CRMs, technico technologically advanced uh, for all stages of the game. From the smaller end, you have um, a, you know, social media integration, Facebook, Instagram, and, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what that looks like um, in the later videos. Um, but <clears throat> Moving on to, um, I'm going to be using this platform to build out the uh, link tree. And also feel free to jump over to my resource library. Um, I have a lot of different links that I specifically use um, for my business. Links specifically I'm using this for to uh, read screen record this experience. Um, Canva to build out all of my social media and click up to, to manage my um, projects, uh, name sheets where I get my domains and 
just to go into death by our link tree, make sure you guys have a domain already. You can't really do this without uh, the name chief domain. Um, Stripe for business transactions and Fiverr if you're trying to do any small um, marketing gigs that you don't necessarily um, need to hire an entire team for. And obviously high level is a CRM that we, um, well, marketing platform, you know, that we use in our um, business to uh, manage and promote for all of our clients. So anyways, colinosman.com slash resources. You'll be able to, um, you know, get a list of all the um, resources that I use and have been using for the past four or five years. So, um, but anyways, we're going to hop into the system. So once again, high levels is the one we're going to be done on. So in the dashboard, once you've logged in, um, and I'm going to be providing a template of the link tree that I just created on, um, it's at the bottom and you'll be able to click on it and, and download it, and share it and do all that stuff like that. Um, and let me know what you guys think on the, uh, on the, um, in the comments about the template view and, uh, well, you let me know how you guys are going to be able to use it in your business and stuff like that, or in personal life and use. But anyways, first step is if you, once you log in, you're probably going to be in the dashboard, you're going to scroll to the site section and then you're going to be in the funnel section and you could create a, a website page, but it, I just did it a funnel page just because it made more sense to me. Um, and, all you're going to do is click new funnel right here and and for the sake of this um, business you're going to uh, excuse me for the sake of this business you're going to uh, just type in your you know link tree but I already have that right here so we're going to click into the link tree and then we're going to click add new step. Make sure the name for the page is link tree path. And that is just essentially the pathway that we're going to be using for the uh, link tree. And then we are going to, let's just do link tree. And before I actually say that, um, I have a website demo of exactly how to set up the domains. So make sure you guys go back into the um, my previous videos if you want to learn how to set up the domain. It's really simple. You're going to be doing it through Cloudflare and et cetera. I mean, Cloudflare setting up the domain servers depending on you know what your <clears throat> what your domain registrar is. Be setting that up with them and then. Um, Pointing from Cloudflare to Go Highway. All right, so right here we have just set up the link tree, and I just paired the domain Colin to it with the path link tree on there. And this is just the back end of the section. Also, you can add your favicon there so that you have a um, you know cool little uh, your logo. And I'll have to show you guys in another video how to store media file and everything like that. And that's because that's very important. All right, so I went ahead and I just did a little bit of building. And I just wanted to show you guys what I have so far. Um, so we got my logo, name, the link tree, about me, photo, blog, work, YouTube, Instagram, linked. I also have my highlight video for my YouTube. And then I also posted my blog so that, you know, you could, if you wanted to, you could go in and check it out and see. Thing that's happening. Got to set up a link tree, yada yada, and there will be a YouTube video. Of the, well, this exact YouTube video will be there, but we still need a. There's still a couple of work that we need to add to it because I want to add the correct links and stuff like that. So, real simple. Once you're in the funnel section, like I showed you before, you're going to just click on Edit Page, and sometimes I like to do Edit in a new tab because it allows me to work a little bit faster. Instead of having to wait for one page load, once I'm done, I save it and then I click out of it. Project, well, time management would be the right uh, um, sort of right thing to say right there. Time management. <clears throat> All right, so it's pretty simple. 
uh, how I did this. I'm just going to quickly go over, you know, the funnel section real quickly. Very simple how to drag and drop headline, sub-headline, sub paragraph, you know, show what that looks like. A large call to action headline. You can easily change the opacity, whether it's light fade, heavy fade, it's real simple, none. We don't want any. You have a text shadow. Um, I never really play around with that stuff because that's not really for me. That's for my designer if we, if, if, or if a client like specifically requests that. You can change the mobile side, and a lot of that's really cool too because we can switch in and out between a desktop and mobile. And before they used to have, it used to be kind of annoying because they would essentially have two different sections, two different websites where essentially you would have to create in order to, um, you know, manipulate the mobile and the desktop side. So now they've linked it so that it's a lot more easier to manage. And also you can cancel out in the advanced section here. If I didn't want to have, uh, this, this actually is within this. Take this out. Okay. All right. So if I didn't want to have this, <clears throat> and just to show you, I um, I canceled out the mobile section, so that's why you didn't see it there. It's just for design purposes. But for example, here, if I didn't want to have the, I didn't, if I didn't want to have this visible in the mobile section side, I'll just take that off. Boom, that's gone. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, so that, you know, text align, middle to the right, boom, easy day. But we're going to do our buttons because we want to have a button there. Let me go quickly add a button. I'm just going to add it, put it right online. Now it doesn't look like the about me. Now the about me button was dragged down to the bottom portion of the website tree link. And as you can see what the, what I've created is a nice link tree. I put my YouTube video that links out to that YouTube channel specifically, you can go right here as well as I added a blog, which is just a simple blog feature that they have integrated within Go High Level, where you're able to essentially um, create blogs from one area and they post on here. And the nice part about it is that this is only going to become more um, advanced over time. Like I would say this is the basic version of this blog section right here. So uh, and that's just a little highlight about that. Uh, in another video, I'll go over how to create a blog and what that looks like. <clears throat> so anyways, guys, uh, here's the desktop and tablet version. And this would be the mobile version of the website. Let's click save right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is just preview it so we know what it looks like. All right, so we're going to click here, preview it. And the Colin Osborne link tree is live. As you can see, it's pretty simple and easy. Here's a video where I traveled around the world this year, went to Marseille, France, London, England, Lisbon, Portugal. I feel like there was another country. Oh, Berlin, Germany was the other one. I went to a lot of places. And then here's a place where people can go in and check out the blogs, which I was talking about before. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video on how to create a link tree. Uh, my name is Colin Osborne. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely would help with the channel. I'm trying to get a lot of people to be engaged and learn more about digital marketing and, and, and how digital marketing can benefit, benefit your business and your personal life. 
Anyways, this is Colin Osborne, and I thank you for watching this video. And I will be tuning in the next video. I believe is going to be, I have to check the blog specifically, but it'll probably be on how to set up a business bank account or how to set up an LLC. But um, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that later on. Anyways, thank you, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.